Welcome to the ServiceNow Password Reset and Virtual Agent demonstration. Our password reset system supports single sign-on across a variety of identity and access management systems and exposes that password reset functionality across several messaging systems and platforms. Today, we'll be covering Active Directory password reset across two platforms, and we'll start with Slack. This solution is powered using the combination of our virtual agent product, the password reset app, and our native Slack integration for Virtual Agent. Ashley is working in Slack, and she's contacted the ServiceNow Virtual Agent to tell it that her password is expiring. Virtual Agent offers to handle that situation by resetting her password. After confirming that she wants to proceed, Ashley is given a link to kick off the reset process. Clicking the link takes Ashley to the ServiceNow Password Reset application, where she enters her login ID and then completes the CAPTCHA. Next, Ashley is asked for the two-factor token from her Authenticator app. So she launches the app on her phone and enters the code into the password reset form. Finally, Ashley is asked to choose her new password and the system enforces the IT department's rules for creating a secure password. Next, we're going to take a look at what happens behind the scenes once Ashley has chosen her new password. Here are the logs in Flow Designer for the password reset flow. And here we can see the request that was sent to Active Directory to reset Ashley's password. And here's where the system sent an email to Ashley confirming that her password has been reset. Next, we'll show a user who can't log in at all because they've been locked out of their account. And yes, it's Ashley again. Here's a service portal that's open to the public and Virtual Agent is available. So Ashley writes that she has been locked out of her account. Virtual Agent offers the password reset topic, and it has a flow for an unauthenticated user. All it needs is her email address. So Ashley enters it, and VA generates a reset link. Clicking the link takes Ashley to the ServiceNow password reset application, where she enters her login ID, and then her email address. After that, a reset link is emailed, and she will enter her new password from there. Next, let's take a look at the virtual agent topic that drives this password reset process. This topic is provided for you out of the box, and it can be changed or added to as needed using our no and low code virtual agent designer. Here, we start off by checking whether or not the user is authenticated. If they aren't, they follow the path to the right. If they are, they follow this path, where we retrieve their account details, greet them, and confirm that they want to go ahead with the reset. Finally, we generate a link to the Password Reset app. All of this is easily accessible, and you can modify it right here in the Virtual Agent Designer. Password Reset Configuration provides access to several configuration areas. Default settings and examples are provided, and they can be configured to match your company's needs. The first section we will look at is the Password Reset Process section. This is where you specify the credential store, which we'll see in a moment, the URL and accessibility settings, and the verification types that you would like to support. This process is configured for QA verification and Google Authenticator. Then we have Verifications, which lists all of the verification types available in the instance. Next is Credential Stores, where the identity and access management systems are defined, along with the password complexity rules. We provide a default configuration out of the box, which customers can copy and then configure as needed. This Credential Store is configured to use our Active Directory server. And here are the password complexity rules. The Security Questions section is a list of every question that the Password Reset application will allow users to choose from when the verification mechanism for Password Reset is set to Security Questions. Password Reset Properties contains a variety of configuration options, which you can see here. Next is the Active Directory Credential Setup. 
This credentials form accepts your AD administrative user ID and password. If this was Azure AD, which we also offer, there would be a button here to start the OAuth process. For mid-server setup, please see the ServiceNow docs site. And finally, here's the connection setup. This page references the credentials we just covered, and this is where you enter the hostname or IP address of your AD server. And that's it. Thank you for watching.